You wake up buried alive. Not in a coffin, not by mistake. You were born this way, pressed beneath the earth, trapped in a world of darkness, air thick with dirt and sweat. You can't see. You will never see. Your eyes don't exist. Your whole world is touch and vibration, smell and taste. And everything you know, everything you feel, tells you one thing, work. But your story doesn't begin here. It begins before you even exist, in a humid chamber where walls drip with life. The queen lies there, bloated, pulsating, ancient. Her body is a living factory, swollen with eggs that slide out one after another, day and night for years. You are one of millions. You are not special. You are just the next in line. The air around her smells heavy, sweet, sour, rotten. Her pheromones spreading through the tunnels like invisible chains. They tell every termite what to do, how to live, what to become. Those born to fight grow huge jaws. Those born to breed grow wings. But you, you were chosen for labor. You are a worker. And the moment you hatch, the moment your soft body touches the soil, your life becomes a schedule you'll never escape. Older workers surround you, feeding you their own shooed food. You taste earth and fungus, wood and waste. And through that meal, the colony programs you. You are not a child. You are not free. You are a gear in something much larger, a living machine that never stops. Your first task is simple. Chew. You sink your jaws into wood so soft it tastes alive. You grind it into pulp, swallow it, and pass it on. Build. Mud, saliva, waste, all mixed into perfect paste. You smear it along the walls, sealing cracks, building bridges, shaping tunnels. You've never seen the colony from above, but you can feel it. Thousands of chambers, miles of tunnels, a city alive with movement. Every vibration a message, a language made of footsteps. You never stop. You can't stop. Your body runs on instinct, not thought. You chew until your jaws dull. You carry until your legs ache. When you sleep, it's only for seconds. When you wake, it's to the same darkness you've always known. Your siblings surround you, thousands of them, brushing past in silence. You taste their pheromones and it feels like recognition. You are never alone, but you are never known. Days mean nothing underground. There is no sunrise, no sunset, only temperature and pressure, the pulse of the colony like a heartbeat under your feet. You live to maintain that pulse. You feed soldiers whose jaws are so big that they can't feed themselves. You clean the queen, licking her enormous pulsating body. You move her eggs, stacking them carefully in clusters that stretch like shining rivers across the chamber floor. You care for larvae that will grow into new workers to replace you when you're gone. And you will be gone, because everything down here dies in service. The air changes. You feel it before you understand it. It's cooler, thinner. The tunnels sigh. A sound that means something above has shifted. Then you feel the tremor, heavy, rhythmic, coming closer. Ants! You don't see them, but you can taste the alarm in the air, acid and panic. Soldiers rush forward, heads pounding the walls to alert the nest. You follow orders without thinking. You grab mud, saliva, soil, start sealing the passageways behind them. You're building a wall with your own body heat while others fight to the death on the other side. The vibration through the ground is deafening, like thunder, like war drums. Then it stops. Silence. The ants are gone. So are hundreds of your siblings. You reopen the tunnels. You remove the bodies. You rebuild. No time to mourn. No reason to. The colony doesn't feel loss. It replaces it. Seasons change above, but you'll never know them. You'll only feel their shadows. When rain falls, the tunnels flood. Cold water surges in from nowhere, sweeping you off your feet. You grab the wall, dig upward, seal the leak. Others don't make it. They drown silently in the dark. When the flood passes, you drag their bodies away, layer by layer, 
and use their remains to fertilize the fungus that feeds the queen. Death fuels the colony. Even in dying, you're useful. And yet, there's a rhythm to your life, a kind of order. You wake, you chew, you repair, you feed, you repeat. Until something worse happens. The ground begins to shake, harder this time. The vibration isn't natural. It's hollow, mechanical, steady. You feel it in every joint. Then comes the poison. It creeps through the soil like a fog, odorless but deadly. You taste it first, metal, sharp, wrong. You stagger, your legs trembling. You fall, crawl, still trying to seal the tunnels. Workers collapse around you one by one, twitching in silence. You keep building. It's the only thing you know how to do. Above you, humans laugh. They think they've solved a problem. They don't know what they've done. Your home, your entire world becomes a tomb. The queen still lays eggs, but they never hatch. The air turns still. The tunnels dry and crumble. Your siblings harden into dust. And you, the last to fall, dig one final hole and never come back. But even this isn't the end. Months pass. Years. Rain returns. The soil shifts. And deep below, something stirs again. Another queen. Another wave of eggs. Another generation that never knows yours existed. The city rebuilds itself. The machine resets. And once again, a new worker awakes in darkness, chewing, carrying, obeying. You have been replaced. The cycle is infinite. Each life a copy of the last. Each death buried beneath a hundred more. You were never meant to escape. So why does it suck to be born as a termite worker? Because you were born in a grave. Because your life is nothing but hunger and obedience. Because your queen will never know your name. Because your enemies are everywhere. Ants, floods, poison, humans, time. Because you spend your life building walls that will one day bury you. You live in darkness. You die in darkness. And no one, not even your own kind, remembers that you were ever here. Above, people knock on their walls, hear a hollow sound and laugh. They don't realize that sound is the echo of your entire civilization, a kingdom of workers who lived, built, and died without ever seeing the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into why it sucks to be born a termite worker, hit subscribe, drop a like, and stay tuned for more shocking truths about the hidden lives that build and break the world beneath our feet.